Hey, good day to you. This is Todd. I am just a regular dude walking the world. I'm wearing my Napa hat today because I blew some hoses in my um, uh, truck. So I either need to go to Napa or O'Reilly's to get some uh, heater hose. Uh, so anyway, um, today, or you, well, yesterday we talked about why Jesus is communicating in parables. And we talked about the parable of the sower. So if you have not listened to that episode... Excuse me. I ask you to go back and listen to it because this episode is not going to make much sense because we're explaining what that parable means. Okay, the parable of the sower. I wanted to do it in two parts, um, these two parables. Yesterday we talked as to why Jesus uses parables. Today uh, we're going to do, uh, talk about what this parable means. Okay, and remember a parable is a story with a hidden message to it. Okay, so people, the general public didn't understand what this message was, but the disciples were communicated as to what this message was. So if you turn in your Bibles with me to Matthew uh, verse chapter 13, we're going to be reading 18 through 23 today. All right, it says this, listen then to what this parable of the sower means. When anyone hears the message of the kingdom and does not understand that the evil one comes and snatches away what was sown in their heart. This is the seed sown along the path. The seed falling on the rocky ground refers to someone who hears the word and at once receives it with joy. But since they have no root, they last only a short time. When trouble or persecution comes because of the word, they quickly fall away. The seed falling among the thorns refers to someone who hears the word, but the worries of this life and the deceitfulness of the wealth choke the word and make it unfruitful but the seed falling on the good soil refers to someone who hears the word and understand it understands it this is the one who produces a crop yielding 160 or 30 times what was sown okay so that explains um so jesus went through and explained what the, what all those the different soils uh means and according to the the sower I could spend, like, I could do a whole, I, and I have done this, a whole sermon on, on this particular passage. I just wanted to give you, let's see, three points today on this that you can take out. You're watching it at home, so. But something you can apply to your life um, from this. I'm not going to, you know, spend 45 minutes to a couple hours um, talking about this parable and what it means. But I wanted to go over uh, three things uh, with you, three things. The first thing is we are called to sow. We are the farmer, okay? So we're called to sow. Uh, Jesus, that's what Jesus has called us to do, to, to sow and to spread the gospel wherever we can, okay? The second thing is this, we don't control the soils, okay? We're, control, we're scattering the seed, but um, some of the seed that we scatter, it's going on rocky soil, and I, I can't control the rocky soil. I, um, I'm not, you know, removing the rocks uh, from there, okay, or the birds and, and stuff like that. Um, so that's the second thing. The third thing is my focus is to try to hit the good soil, but some seed will naturally go to the bad soil, okay? When I'm scattering the seed, I'm trying, I'm, my focus is on the good soil, but some of the seed is naturally going to scatter on um, the soil that's not good. That's the birds are going to snatch up and stuff. So I'm witnessing to somebody, I'm sharing the gospel to somebody, and I'm trusting that they they have the good soil. Okay, I don't always know though. Okay, um, but I'm, I'm called to get to give out the gospel. Okay, no matter what kind of soil it is. But my focus is usually, you know, trying to focus on the good soil. If someone comes up and they're hard already, and like, oh, I don't want to hear anything about the gospel. Well, I don't force it upon them. Then, okay, but my remember our job is to to share the gospel with whomever. But there's someone who they might at the um the rocky soil you know that they accepted the seed started out and it started out good and then but it was so shallow of a soil that it, it grew and it didn't have a good root system and so then it died out and that's what we use you'll share the gospel with a lot of people and they'll be all excited about it but they don't have a good root system so then um uh, they're the salvation dies out okay so it's not good soil so those are three things that i wanted to share with you let me say them again here we are called to sow is the first thing 
Second thing, we don't control the soils. Okay, and the third thing is my focus is to try and hit the good soil when, when I'm sharing the gospel, but some seed is going to go to the bad soils. Okay, so I hope that that helps you with everything in explaining um, this parable um, uh, with that. So anyway, we're going to move on. We got, we're going to go through a whole bunch of parables here. It's just a section in Matthew where Jesus spends a good amount of time talking uh, in parables. All right. Thank you for watching. I'm just a regular dude walking in the Word, and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow as uh, we continue going through the book of Matthew. Lord's blessing. I'll see you then.